Hey, Aries. So, Resting Maze General. Sorry, these should have been done a few days ago. But, Mercury Retrograde, Scorpio Full Moon, the Lunar Eclipse, and I'm a double Gemini with this Mercury Retrograde, and Sirius Slip put me on my ass. And when you're doing a Full Moon release with the Scorpio Full Moon, especially on the Lunar Eclipse, you better get ready to release it. <laughs> in no matter where, you know, in the universe, you have no choice in the way you're going to release it. Um, but yeah, absolute craziness. Absolute craziness. But if it's meant to go, it's going to go. So I hope you've all weathered the storm. We had the last day of the Mercury Retrograde yesterday. We are in that post-shadow type energy right now. So there could still be lingering energies. But we're going to see what's going on for you in the month of May. What does the month of May hold that significant to you? I know we're halfway through it. But, you know, if it resonates now, if it resonates in the next couple of weeks, go for it. So, my Aries, these will be extended readings. You can get the extended link in the description box below if you're watching me on YouTube. If you're watching me on TikTok, uh, go to my profile. Sorry, Zeus decides that he wants to sit in front of the camera. Um, if you're watching me on TikTok, you can just go to my profile and click the link to my YouTube. And then on any video, the link to my Patreon is underneath the video anyway. Same with my socials, my Instagram, my Facebook, etc. And you can get your extended. So, for my Aries, we're going to jump straight in. Let's see what's going on. The Five of Swords. Aries, you are taking your power back. So, you may have had people around you in the past. You know, like, it's almost like you... In the, in the fifth month, it is the five, so you're making changes, but it's like you're taking your power back. You are disarming certain situations or people. That's how I feel about this card. Some people see it as the bully card. I'm not seeing this as you having to walk away. I feel like this is you like, no, hell no, you're not hurting with me with that no more. So maybe that is the release that you've been doing. You're taking your power back. Massive energy. We've got the Knight of Swords being the main energy, the Knight of Swords could be dealing with an air sign, you may have air sign air in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but the Knight of Swords is quick and fast. I feel like you may have been, excuse my language, but on your arse for a bit, especially mentally, you know, just drained, and you're now starting to get that drive, right, I need to get it done, I need to get something done, you're definitely getting something done. What's crossing that is justice, so you could be dealing with a Libra, there could be legal things going on as well, but I'm kind of getting karmic justice, and I feel like you're pulling in the karmic justice by taking back your own power, whether that means using the justice system, or whether that means using the universe as your own justice system, go with it. Money, I feel like it's about, it's about balancing them scales now. Maybe there's been like a big um, payout or you've had to pay something out. But in the fifth month, there's no regrets. There's no looking back. It's like, I feel like you've paid off some kind of karmic debt. And which, when we do that, it causes a ripple effect. So those that have hurt us or whatever, karmic debts are not always a negative. Do you know what I mean? Karma is the law of balance. That's all it is. It, it's it's neither negative or positive. But to me, this is if the if you've been waiting on some kind of outcome, some kind of karmic outcome or justice, you know, that type of energy, you're going into the fifth month and you're owning it because it's like, no, this is mine. I'm not looking back anymore. I like it. Yeah, there were some kind of challenge in the past. The Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a gobby little... Mm, do you know what I mean? It's that challenging behaviour or challenging uh, information that we don't want to know. Someone using the tongue as a sword, that type of thing. Someone trying to take Mick. But at present, you've got that Ace of Cups. So I do feel like you are coming back. You're coming back into your heart centre. You know, the Ace of Cups is divine love. Loving yourself. The cup running over. Having things to finally celebrate. You know, and if that's not in just right, right now, you know, you are on that precipice of going to that. Because going forward, you can let your guard down. The blindfold is off. But there's no longer, there's no longer need to hurt, like, kind of... I wanted to say open the veil, and then I don't even know how I want to say open the veil. Uh, there's no need to guard 
you're hot, especially so much. So it could you could have been hurt in the past in love, you know, that type of thing, or family member, someone who you really loved, you know. If you are a person of unconditional love, we get hurt really easily because we expect everybody to live by the same morals as we do. Um some areas there could be a situation at work, or there could have been a situation at work, but I feel like there's been good news coming in with that. It's just like there's just no looking back. You're just not looking back. I love it. And especially how you've got this water energy now. We've just had that Scorpio full moon. You know, past this Cancer Scorpio energy. Your power in this situation now is the Wounded Warrior. See, you never give up. The Wounded Warrior gets back up, gets back up, dusts themselves off and carries on going because they know they're going to carry on healing as they move on going. They don't sit in victim mode. That is your energy now. It's to get up. It's to get up and get things done. The outside influence to that is you're bringing in, you're manifesting your own wheel of fortune. So there's a wheel of fortune coming in for you, Zeris. I like it. It's because you never gave up. You never gave up. In your hopes and fears, we've got the Page of Pentacles. To me, this is news. It's trustworthy news as well. So if you've had like liars in the past or you've been in abusive situations, you're that type of thing. You want people around you who are going to give you trustful, trustworthy like information or messages, even in love. So if you've been like on dating sites, I never ever advise them. But if you've been on them and you've been getting these types of prats, you know, you just want someone who's stable, someone who's, like, kind of secure. But I feel like in your energy, you just want that security now. That's why you're not going back to where you once were. Because your outcome is the seed's already planted for this to come in. July could be significant. But you've already planted that seed. Do you know what I mean? It's just about being patient now and waiting for it. So, I am going to dip into... The Yin Yang Tarot, which is the Lilith Designs. I really love these. Yeah, see, in the past, we've got Disarmony, Triggers, Conflict. And that's coming with the Page of Source. So there has been some kind of significant like conflict in the past. You beat it. Maybe there's still a little bit up here with the Wounded Warrior, you know. But we've got to empty the bank vault. Empty the bank vault. Because it shows you. Yeah, you've still got some up here. We've got Memories and Nostalgia. But I feel like some of my areas, and I want to say this carefully, um, if you have been in an abusive relationship in the past and you're starting to remember the good days, please sit down and remember the bad days as well. Maybe even write them down. Um, that's not for everybody. That could be for about 25% about of people who are watching this right now. Um, I just felt like someone was trying, were thinking of dipping back in the past. But all you're reading is about going forward, no longer going to the past. I do feel like you're doing a lot of healing work at the minute. You've got healing the inner child. So you could be doing healing the inner child or having more fun. You know, that heals the inner child anyway. There could even be mirror work that you're doing at the moment on yourself, you know, in front of your mirror. And we've got unity. To me, unity is about coming together with yourself, your masculine, your feminine working together so i do feel at the moment you are working on yourself but you are planting the seed for something and it does look financial you know why did it all come around fate detours divine intervention something happened in the recent past and it happened for a reason it happened because you needed to detour you needed to change path in some way but your outcome is the seven of pentacles which i absolutely love and we've got release, surrender, and purge. You're releasing. You're surrendering. Can't wait to get into your extended and see what's been going on. If this is where I leave you, I'm going to leave you with lots and lots of love. If I'm meeting you on the extended, I'm going to meet you off there now. Bye.